Shalom, peace, blessings, and love to you and your families. And may Yahweh bless the sins here as always. So in this video, we're going to talk about how the wicked are plotting against the righteous, which they always do. But they are mad. And so they're going to send their agents on the internet to try to cause confusion. They're going to send their gang stalkers to try to scare somebody as if they were scaring somebody. But they're not. Because you're going to get yourself hurt through the spirit of the Most High Yahweh. Let's read this in Micah chapter 2 verse 12. I will surely gather all of you, Jacob. I will surely bring together the remnant of Yasharal. I will bring them together like sheep in a pen. Like a flock in its pasture, the place will throng with people. The Most High Yahweh will do this. You see that? So people are waking up right now. Everything that these people, these wicked people, this government, everything that they have built, it's coming down on their own head, even down to their internet. Let's read this here. This is an article from AlternativeNewsNetwork.com. Scientific study reveals conspiracy theorists the most sane of all. All right. So what's going on is that people are waking up through the internet. All right. Some people actually are using, you know, the discernment that the Most High Yahweh has given them. And they're waking up to the lies of America. They're waking up to the lies of all these corporate governments all over the world. That's what's going on right now. Okay? So they want to shut the internet off. You understand? that They're looking for ways to try to limit the, the internet as much as possible. They're looking for ways to try to, you know, take it away from you. They were the ones who gave it to you, right? Just like they were the ones who gave you constitutional laws, but they want to take it away. You see that? They are the true Indian givers. You understand that? Funny how they say Indian givers, right? But this is what they are. So, let's go ahead and understand this here, right? Now, I shared a photo on Facebook today, which those of you that are friends with me and follow me on Facebook, then, you know, you can go ahead and see for yourself. Now, basically, I had gotten into, you know, a little minor incident. It wasn't really, really big, right? Just exchange a few words, vulgar words with some supposedly transit cops. You understand they were driving and basically, you know, they just tr just basically stopped out of nowhere. You understand? So I was trying to go around them to go proceed as to wherever I was going to. So then they started tailgating me, beeping the horn all crazy. You understand that? Which, you know, my wife was telling me it's just a demon. Don't let it provoke you. You don't understand? So I didn't, you know, I, I try to basically keep going to where I was going. And anyways, to make a long story short, I wound up taking a picture of the license plate and you know when you see it you can see for yourself that it was two it was two basically two two faces of some demons you understand which the most high house said that that was going to happen the most high house says that these demons were going to be among us in these days all right so again i just brought that out because for those of you that don't know what is gang stalking well understand this here is it's more spiritual than it being physical you understand it's spiritual demonic entities that take over these people that do such thing you understand so you know you people may think it's just a coincidence but it's not it's not a coincidence you people may think that you know it's people doing these things to you but it's not it's a demonic entity that's taking over other people to do this to you you understand that they don't know what they're doing all right, so again, this is why the Most High God says in these times, in these days, you need to have your mind, your forehead sealed with the name of the living God. Micah chapter 2, verse 12. I will surely gather all of you, Jacob. I will surely bring together the remnant of Yasharal. I will bring them together like sheep in a pen, like a flock in its pasture. The place will throng with people. The one who breaks open the way will go up before them. They will break through the gate and go out. Their king will pass through before them. Yahweh at their head. Again, Yahweh at their head. Why? Because your, your mind, your forehead needs to be sealed with the name of the living God. Your desires need to be towards your husband. You need to return to the wife of your youth. You understand? So this is why it says this here. In Psalms chapter 20 verse 1. For the director of music, a psalm of David. May Yahweh answer you when you are in distress. May the name, key point, 
May the name of Yahweh, of the God of Jacob, protect you. Like it says in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10, The name of the Most High is a fortified tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. So let's continue to read this here again. In Micah chapter 2, verse 13, it says, Their king will pass through before them, Yahweh at their head. So again, people are mad because we're waking up. You see, we're breaking through the gates, all right? The gates represent their lives. Everything they, they try to give us to hold us back from being closer to our God. You understand? This is why we are breaking free. You understand? We're breaking free through the Spirit of the Most High. And they're mad. These demons out there and these agents and everybody who's controlled by Satan, they are mad. Okay? But they can't touch us. You see that? They can't do no harm to us. This is why the Most High Yahweh is at our head. Let's read this here in Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 20. It says, Indeed, there is no one on earth who is righteous, no one who does what is right and never sins. You see where they get uh, that mockery in Romans or in the New Testament, rather say, where it says that uh, we have all fallen short of the glory of God because they get it from here, Ecclesiastes 7 and 20. Indeed, there is no one on earth who is righteous, no one who does what is right and never sins. You see that? So this is the reason why it says here they will break through the gate. Because why? Because we were in sin. Remember the Most High God says you were called a rebel since birth. Okay, since birth. This is why it says this here. Let's see, we can find this in Psalms. Psalms 129 and 4. But Yahweh is righteous. You see that? Yahweh is righteous. Yahweh, who has no form, who has no image, but is the living God. He is righteous. You understand? No one on earth is righteous. The Most High Yahweh says, not even the heavens is, is righteous in His sight. So it says, but Yahweh is righteous. He has cut me free from the cords of the wicked. You see that? So again, this is what's going on right now. Through the spirit of the Most High Yahweh, people of all language, of all colors, of all races are waking up and they're breaking free from the lies. All through the spirit of the Most High Yahweh. He is cutting the, the cords of wicked. You understand that? Of wickedness from them. And they are being refined through His words. So once again, they will break through the gates and go out. Their king will pass through before them. Yahweh at their head. This is why we read this here. In Proverbs 6 and 1, it says, My son, if you have put up security for your neighbor, if you have shaken hands and pledged for a stranger, you have been trapped by what you said. You see that? So that's why I brought this out in Ecclesiastes 7 and 20. Indeed, there is no one on earth who is righteous. You see that? Because we all have fallen far of the, of the glory of the Most High Yahweh. This is the reason why the Most High Yahweh is making known to us His words now. You see that? Because why? Because we're breaking free. You see that? We're being, we are being willing and obedient to walk humbly with our God. So when you do that, the Most High Yahweh is going to give you the increase. You're going to be able to break free from their lies, from everything that they have gave us. You get it? So Proverbs 6 and 2, it says, You have been trapped by what you said, ensnared by the words of your mouth. So, verse 3, it says, So do this, my son, to free yourself. Since you have fallen into your neighbor's hands, go to the point of exhaustion. Sorry. It says, go to the point of exhaustion and give your neighbor no rest. You see that? So they don't like it. All right? They don't like it. They hate it. Like, God, when will he die already? You know, let's try to scare him. Let's try to do this to throw him off. Let's try to uh, twist up his words on the comment board. You see that? This is what they do. Okay? Because why? Because why? Because we are not giving them any rest, damn it. That's why. Do you understand that? That's why. Because we're not going to give them any rest. Alright? Let's go ahead and show you this here. Verse 4. That says, allow no sleep to your eyes. That's it. No slumber to your eyelids. No more American dream. Wake up, people. Wake up from this American nightmare. Do you understand? Verse 5. Free yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter. Like a bird from the snare of the fowler. This is why it says this here. Let's go ahead and show you this here. Let's see if we can find this in uh, 
Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 50. And let's start off at verse 8. So it says here, Flee out of Babylon, leave the land of the Babylonians, and be like the goat that leads the flock. Okay? So again, Proverbs 6 and 5. Free yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter, like a bird from the snail of the fowler. Right? You have to be willing and obedient. You know, this is something you have to do. Nobody can impose this on you, you know. Satan's agents are mad out there. Remember, it tells you that even in your New Testament. Satan is furious. He's coming down with great wrath in these days, baby. He don't want people to wake up from this lies. <laughs> but guess what, though? Micah 5 and 7. The remnant of Jacob will be in the midst of many peoples, like do from Yahweh. Why? Because the Most High Yahweh says that he will be like the do of heaven to us. He's given us the increase, not a man, not a woman, not an angel, the Most High Yahweh, the living God. All right? And it says here, like showers on the grass, which do not wait for anyone or depend on men. So you see that? Since we are returning back to our God now, since we are relying on our God, they are mad. Okay? They're mad. You see that? That's like Pharaoh, you know, Pharaoh trying to chase the, the, the you know, Moses and, and, and those Israelites that were, that was crossing the Red Sea. That's what's going on right now. Satan coming down with great fury. No, get those Yashtarites. Don't let them know the truth. Right? No more <laughs> muzzle though for you. So look what it says here. Okay? We don't we don't wait on men and we don't depend on anyone. So this is why. Let's read this in Isaiah. 14 and 4. You will take up this taunt against the king of Babylon. How the oppressor has come to an end. How his fury has ended. Verse 5. Yahweh, right? The living God who has no form, who has no image. Yahweh has broken the rod of the wicked, the scepter of the rulers. You see that? That's what it says. The most high Yahweh foils the signs of false prophets, buddy. What you thought? You thought you was wiser than the living God? You're a mere mortal, okay? That's what you are. Understand that. Amos chapter 5 verse 10. There are those who hate the one who upholds justice in court and detest the ones who tells the truth. You see that? That's why, you know, they're telling you, oh, they're a bunch of conspiracy theorists. They're a bunch of nutcase. They don't know what they're talking about, right? They hate us. Because why? Because we're on to them. No more catch-22, buddy. All right? We're 100% synced. We, we, we know already about your lies. This is why the Most High Yahweh says, there's nothing that you can do in darkness that will not be revealed. All right? You call yourself the shadow of government. You call yourself the Illuminati. You think you're enlightened. Please. All right? Please. There's nothing you can do now. These are your days. All right? Again, trying to be nice. But... The Most High God says that these people don't know what's righteousness. They don't know when you're trying to be nice. They don't understand that. All right? So, this is why there's no mercy upon them. All right? This is the reason why, you know, they're trying to come out with some bullshit cyber attacks. Oh, we're getting cyber attacks out of nowhere when it's dumb doing it. It's dumb doing it themselves. Why? Because, again, they're trying to look for a way to take this internet away from you. Because why? Because you people are using it to wake up. You see that? They thought that they were going to just have you on here to, uh, you know, be on Twitter and to buy their little items and stuff, right? And spend your money and do whatever that they've made for you to do, right? But, again, people are waking up slowly but surely, all right? Not, not the masses, but the majority. The majority of people, you know, the majority of people that basically, that can read for themselves, you know, that have a brain to think for themselves, all right? Because everybody else, they're just in darkness. So, again... The majority of the people are waking up through the Spirit of the Most High. This is what it says. In the last days, people were going to make up. Make up oh, sorry. People were going to wake up. Many to everlasting life and some to everlasting shame. So let's read this here in Hosea chapter 9, verse 7. The days of punishment are coming. The days of reckoning are at hand. Let Yahshua know this. Because your sins are so many and your hostility so great, the prophet is considered a fool. The inspired person, a maniac. You see that? They got no respect nowadays, you know? That's what they say. Oh, that's all these people do. Just read the Bible. Oh, stop reading from the Bible and just tell me facts. Tell me documents. 
Again, they trust in men. The prophet is considered a fool. The inspired person, a maniac. All right, so this is why judgment's gonna come to these people who deserve it. Micah chapter four, verse seven. Look what it says here. I will make the lame my remnant. Who's the lame? Oh, those conspiracy theorist people, the nerds, right? Those people who read the Bible. Those people who have a mind to think for themselves. Those people who actually do their studies. Those people who are willing and obedient. The lame, those that don't know better. You see that? Those that they make fun of, damn it. Look what it says here. I will make the lame my remnant. Those driven away, right? Those that everybody rejects, those driven away, a strong nation. Okay? Again, so we already know who these people reject. They reject us every day, right? This is why you're the first, first fired and the last hired. So look what it says here. Those driven away, a strong nation. That's right. That's what the Most High Yahweh says. Two nations are in thy wound, but one shall be stronger than the other. Why? Because we're stronger than these people mentally. They can't break this down. Why? Because Yahweh is at our head. All right? They're carnal minded. So, they're going to vanish real quick. You see that? They gave their mind over to our tangible things. You see that? They can't break us because we're giving our mind over to spiritual things. So, again, those driven away, a strong nation. Yahweh will rule over them in Mount Zion from that day and forever. Whether they like it, whether they love it, they will never put nothing above it. Because the Most High Yahweh says that in the last days, his mountains was going to be the highest above all the hills. So you can't put nothing above it, buddy. All right? This is why it says that if any of the people do not come up to Jerusalem, they get no rain. Because you can't put nothing above it. So let's read this. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 19. At that time, I will deal with all who oppressed you. You see that? Man and beast. It says, I will rescue the lame. I will gather the exiles. I will give them praise and honor in every land where they have suffered shame. Verse 20. At that time, I will gather you. At that time, I will bring you home. I will give you honor and praise among all the peoples of the earth when I restore your fortunes before your very eyes. Says Yahweh. Okay, Yasharal's restoration. This is why, right? If you people want salvation, you need to acknowledge who is God. You need to acknowledge who is God's firstborn nation. Just that simple. All right? The Most High Yahweh says salvation is for all people of all language, of all colors, but you got to get your facts right. It's just that simple. All right? You cannot have what's not yours anymore. Understand that, and, uh, and then we shall have peace. All right? Hosea 11 and 5. Will they not return to Egypt and will not Assyria rule over them because they refuse to repent? Right? Just like it's happening now. So look what it says here. A sword will flash in their cities. It will devour their false prophets and put an end to their plans. You see that? So the most tell you how, right? He's trying to be merciful with a lot of people. Trying to give them time to repent, you know, to change their ways. But if they continue in their stubbornness, they continue in, you know, in their evil ways. Well, the Most High God says he's going to put an end to your plans. Like it says here in Isaiah 29 and 18. And that day the deaf will hear the words of the scroll. And out of gloom and darkness, the eyes of the blind will see. Like it says in Daniel. Again, many shall awake to everlasting life and some to everlasting shame and contempt. Verse 19. Once more the humble will rejoice in Yahweh. The needy will rejoice in the Holy One of Yasharal. The ruthless will vanish. The mockers will disappear. And all those who have an eye for evil will be cut down. Verse 21. Those who with a word make someone out to be guilty, who ensnare the defender in court. See that? Who ensnare the, the defender in court. And with false testimony deprive the innocent of justice. Who is that? What are they talking about these wicked rulers? Because this also goes hand in hand with uh, uh, Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe to those who make unrighteous decrees. All right. Again, who ensnared the defender in court, just like we read here, Amos 5 and 10. There are those who hate the one who upholds justice in court and detest the one who tells the truth. Why? Because they, they were born liars. I mean, again, the wicked go astray from the wound. They are born telling lies. How can they love truth when they have been accustomed to telling lies? The Most High Yahweh told you, with their tongue, they tell lies.